Welcome to the Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Proposals to be presented and approved to the Human Rights Council, point 11. The message of NGO represent the interest of residents forcibly displaced from Artsakh. Artsakh was at the core of discussion in Geneva and Bern. We hope conditions will be created for people of Artsakh, Mehdi Subhani. One of the streets of Gyumri, named after Shal Lansnavur. Artsakh will sing again. Shushis Varanda Choir resumes its activities. The basketball team of Eastern Armenia defeated the team of Baku. In the context of the right of the indigenous Armenians people of Western Armenia, it is relevant to start negotiations for a stable peace in the region based on the international law according to which the Armenian state was recognized in 1920 and the successor of which is Western Armenia. Ms. Lydia Margosian, the president of the Republic of Western Armenia, said this in Geneva. According to her, despite these circumstances, for 104 years, the indigenous Armenian people of Western Armenia continue to be subjected to the illegal occupation of the territories of Western Armenia by the Turkish Armed Forces and by Azerbaijan Armed Forces from 1921, which has led to the continuation of the genocide with plans which are against international law. Regardless of everything, our national reconstruction mechanisms in Western Armenia are functioning according to the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, as a result of which our indigenous state and its structures were formed, the government and the parliament, said she. Ms. Lydia Margosian noted that within the framework of the mandate given to her, she asked the Human Rights Council to include in the discussions the issue of the occupation of Armenian territories in violation of international law and therefore the observance of agreements in UN forums. To this request, made last year, the President added a full legal package, including President Woodrow Wilson's decision clearly delineating the international border between Turkey and Western Armenia and acting in favor of peace negotiations under Article 92 of the Treaty of Severus. She continues, this request is nothing more than the need for full implementation of the Treaty of Severus, as the articles of that treaty have been applied to all participating countries except Armenia. On this occasion, I remind you that Palestine, which is also an observer state in the UN, justifies its rights on the basis of the Treaty of Severus. I also remind that many states, including Syria, Iraq, or Saudi Arabia, which are also UN member states, justify their rights on the basis of the Treaty of Severus, added she. According to her, the application of the Treaty of Severus should be restored to us because that International Peace Treaty is uh, for direction to compensate for the genocide committed against Armenians. The dignity of our humanity depends on the application of international law, without which there can be no lasting peace in this region. The message of the NGOs represent the interest of residents forcibly displaced Armenians from Artsakh and the message addressed the international community, stressing that no free nation can renounce its sovereign rights and submit to the rule of a foreign state. Moreover, a state ruled by an authoritarian, corrupt and racist regime intoxicated by impunity. The relics of the Baptist, the churches and the graves of the ancestors which have been protected for centuries are evidence for the whole world that freedom is the highest value for the people of Artsakh. They explained that they left because that was the only way they could expose the big lie on which the political idea of resolving the conflict was based, forcing us and our children to swear allegiance and accept the citizenship of a state that hate us. For three decades, we have defended the right of our children to peace and free development with all of we might. We were opposed to political deeds that were offered to us at the expense of our sovereign right to live in our homeland, which was gained at the cost of many lives in our centuries-long struggle to preserve national dignity. And this struggle is not over, said the statement. The group consisting of members of the Committee for the Protection of Fundamental Rights of Armenians of Artsakh created by the decision of the National Assembly of Artsakh visited Geneva and Bern at the invitation of the International Christian Solidarity Organization. The delegation led by Vartan Oskanyan had a number of meetings with representatives of various UN agencies, human rights organizations and research centers operating in Geneva and Bern, as well as with representatives of UN member states. At the core of the discussions were the issues of the collective return of Armenians displaced from Artsakh, the release of Armenian prisoners of war and hostages arrested in Baku, protecting the Armenian historical and cultural heritage in Artsakh from the desecration and destruction of Baku. Vartan Oskanyan called to investigate the effect of ethnic cleansing in Artsakh. 
Within the framework of the visit, the committee members also met with representatives of the Armenian community in Switzerland, with the representatives of the Armenian community as well as with the President Armenak Abrahamian and Deputy Foreign Minister of the Republic of Western Armenia, Vartan Simonian. The rights of the Armenian residents of Artsakh must be respected. That issue is like a wound, that wound must be healed. The Iranian ambassador to Armenia, Mehdi Sopani, said in an exclusive interview to Azad Utsun. He added that when talking about sustainable peace, that wound should also be taken into account. We hope that just the residents of Artsakh left their homes involuntarily. This condition will be created so that they can return to their homes voluntarily, the ambassador added. He emphasized that it is nature that the main reason they left that area was because they did not feel safe. I myself talked to the people of Artsakh when the refugees came and I went to Kapan myself. I talked to them afterwards. They said that we did not leave our homes voluntarily. No one leaves their home voluntarily and they said that they did not feel safe. Edit Mehdi Sopani. In Gyumri, Sherlands Navur Square, near his statue, the Ani Brass Band of the Community Hall, together with the Joint Student Choir of Art and Music Schools, were played his songs. The Brass Band has a Sherlands Navur program and will have a big concert in September. With this event, we once again respond to the 100th anniversary of Sherlands Navur. The Aznavur events in Gyumri started at the beginning of the year, but today they are perhaps the largest and largest scale events. Didi Tovmaisan, head of the culture and youth affairs department of the Gyumri municipality, said in a conversation with Arabot. She also said that everything in Gyumri is Aznavurian, and this is due to the great chansonier who has a huge contribution to the development of post earthquake Gyumri. The events continued on Gyumri Musayelian Street, which was renamed after Charles Navur. The name board was opened under his songs. After the fall of historical Artsakh, Shushiswara and the Children's and Youth Stage Choir resumes its activities in Eastern Army under the title Artsakh Will Sing Again. It should be noted that this choir of Shushi was founded in 1992 by the Lebanese Armenian musician Zakar Keshishan. The choir continues its creative activity with three groups. The first concert of the choir took place in Shushi, then in Yerevan in 1993. Since the day of its establishment, many concerts have been held in various regions of Artsakh, military units, schools, Eastern Armenia, and the Bannon with the Karakaj Children's and Youth Choir and Ike Youth Choirs of the Hamas Gain of Lebanon. The choir has prepared more than three dozen songs, which were performed by both Armenian and foreign classical and modern folk choirs, and more than 500. In 2012, on the occasion of the choir's 20th anniversary, Halaj Tokatlian's documentary Singing Summers was made, telling about the creative history. The 16, Eastern Armenia U16 men's basketball team has completed its performances in the C division of the European Championship. In the struggle for the third place, our team beat the Baku team with a score of 71 to 63, becoming bronze medals list of the championship. The most effective player of the match was David Kakoyan. He scored seven points, had 10 rebounds, and made five assists. The women's U16 national team also finished their performances in the division of European Championship. In the last game, the team won against the Georgian team and took the fifth position of the championship. The most efficient player of the match was Lilith Gevorkova with 22 points. This was all for today. Goodbye.